At the height of the pandemic, cancer screenings declined big time. As a result, doctors are now diagnosing later staged cancer. This Little Rock woman received one of those later diagnoses. She's now sharing her personal battle with breast cancer during the pandemic and what she wants young women to know about their risks. Back in March of 2020, we had no idea just how much the COVID-19 pandemic would change our lives. I was a little I won't say I was afraid, but I was a little nervous about it. Stephanie Jackson, a wife, mom, and career woman, had a laundry list of things she needed to get done that year. I said, well, I'll get that done in 2020. And then the pandemic happened. Before she knew it, the year got away from her. On her 41st birthday, she decided it was finally time to get her first mammogram. We completed that, and the radiologist told me, uh, we need to do a biopsy. And I'm thinking a biopsy? I don't have cancer. I don't have anybody in my family that's ever had cancer. These are the things that I keep going back to in my mind. According to the CDC, in the United States, breast cancer is the most common cancer in women. One in eight will get breast cancer during her life. And about 9% of new cases of breast cancer in the U.S. are found in women younger than 45. Stephanie was one of them. You know, I guess it was difficult because I'm a pri I am such a private person, but we're also in the middle of the pandemic and people are dealing with so many things. You know, it just felt, it felt like this was like, wow, what, something else? Here we go. So now there's something else that's happening that, you know, that a family member or friends got to deal with, you know, not wanting to feel like a burden. Um, Probably more so than anything, yeah. Not wanting to feel like a burden. Um. A diagnosis she'd share with very few people. They called me back after the biopsy and told me that they had indeed found cancer uh, in two areas in my left breast. Fortunately for her, it was caught early all because of that mammogram she had put off for a year. We have seen people um, found to have later cancer diagnosis or even progressive cancer because they put off their screening. Doctors recommend having an annual mammogram starting at 40, age 30, if you fall in the high risk category. I say that it's never too late. Just come in and be proactive about your health. I think better now a time than ever because the pandemic has made us feel completely out of control with our health and it's a totally uncontrollable situation and this is something that we can control is preventing breast cancer even catching breast cancer early so that it's treatable had i not had that mammogram when i did i don't know what that cancer would have looked like in three months in six months in a year when i finally got around to doing it for stephanie a sign of hope her cancer was removed through a lumpectomy and radiation. She's on a five-year course of medication to ensure the cancer does not return. And she's now turning her story into a call to action for other women to get screened. Even when it's difficult, make your health a priority. Don't put it off. Don't wait. Take care of yourself and get, get a mammogram. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and there's a big push to encourage women to get their annual mammogram. Do not let finances be a reason you don't. There are plenty of places to get free mammograms. We'll have those listed on our website under this story. There, you'll also find another interview with a medical oncologist from Carti Cancer Center.